Hello friends, welcome again to Nanaba's Kitchen and if you're joining for the first time, a warm welcome to you and thanks for choosing to uh, visit today. On the menu is a recipe inspired by John Opoku who is one of our Chop Time Yes Friend members on Facebook. He recently posted a picture of sun tea and I was inspired. So the main ingredients in this recipe is six cups of water, six tea bags, and this is black tea. Lipton is the brand. And we also, of course, need the sun. It is summer out here in Arizona and the sun is in your face. You need a refreshing drink to quench that thirst. Sun tea comes to mind. In fact, out here in Arizona, most restaurants use the sun to brew their tea and they call it sun tea. So yeah, let's use the sun's energy to be our source of uh, energy to brew our tea. Why not? So yeah, we sit it outside for an hour and a half and that's all it takes because it is that hot. So while that's happening, we're back in the kitchen to prepare a raspberry syrup to sweeten our tea and to give it a raspberry taste. We also want to include a hint of ginger um, in the background. So we need a small amount of ginger, about half the size of your thumb. Now we are going to also add the juice of two lemons to the raspberries and ginger. The juice of the lemons will give us that needed acidity and also will give us a citrus flavor that's really refreshing. The lemon juice and its citrus flavor is really going to refresh in our drink in the end. So blend till smooth and pour it into your saucier pan. We're going to cook our syrup. We need a cup of sugar for this. So pour your sugar in and we're cooking on medium heat. And then also rinse your blender with just a little bit of water and pour it into the mixture. And then also use a pinch of salt to bring the, the acidity and the sweetness together. It's like a unifying um, ingredient. It really helps the sweetness to come through. So mix it together and cook until reduced half of the way and you have your syrup. Now it takes about 10 to 12 minutes to cook down your syrup until it's reduced about halfway and ready. Now you want to turn the heat off and let it sit aside and cool all the way down to room temperature. Then you want to strain it too because raspberries have a lot of seeds in them and you don't want the seeds in this recipe. And voila, look at how silky smooth, how glossy, even shiny this syrup is. So you may use this to sweeten your tea or you can just enjoy your sun tea just like that. In fact, most people enjoy their sun tea without any sweetener, without any flavor, and just over some ice. Make sure that you wring out your tea bags because you don't want any waste. Pour some ice into your serving jar. And then an optional step, I use the rind of a lemon and a lime just to bring those beautiful fresh citrus notes into the jar and you can enjoy it at this stage just as it is or you can add your raspberry syrup to sweeten it and also to give it that raspberry taste and just look at how the color transforms right before your eyes your family should be lined up at this time with your glass of ice ready to indulge so pour them some and make sure you pour yourself a glass too and enjoy the fruitage of your labor and imagine yourself sitting on an island with that beautiful breeze blowing over your skin and your beautiful hair and enjoy life a true crowd pleaser thank you John Opoku for inspiring me if you haven't joined our group on Facebook yet which is chop time yes friend please do so and post your um, short videos and your food related pictures and videos. I thank you all so so much for watching and as always Make it a great day and have fun Especially in that kitchen